All right, so this speaker does something I wish a lot more speakers could do. This is the We Hear Pro from Louv. Hopefully I pronounced that correctly. This is actually a high-end German technology brand that's been around for over a century. And they make everything from TVs, Bluetooth speakers, sound bars, along with a bunch of other household electronics. Now, the We Hear Pro is a limited edition collab with soccer star Kylian Mbappe. You can actually see it has his initials on each side of the speaker. So if you're a fan of his, this might be something you want to grab simply as a collector's item. The speaker comes in three color options. You have neon, you have black, and then you have a blue, which they're calling denim. And I was really hoping that they would send me the neon color. I just kept looking at it online. It's bright, it's vibrant. And personally, I've never seen a speaker that color. Even with a company like JBL, they give you a ton of options. You have like camouflage, you got red, blue, black, but I've never seen a neon green Bluetooth speaker. So I was really hoping to add that speaker to my collection. Now, if I had to guess, the neon color is probably gonna sell the best. So I get it why they sent me the black option instead. Now, this speaker reminds me a lot of the JBL Extreme. It's a similar size, it's got a similar layout, and it comes with an optional shoulder strap for easier portability. You have the power button and controls on the top, and on the other side, you have the Type-C charging port and a 3.5 millimeter audio jack. It's nice to see some companies keep the audio jack around. A drawback for some people with the new JBL Extreme 4 is that they did away with the audio jack. Personally, I'm not really somebody that uses an audio jack much these days, but again, I know there are some people still out there. Now, one thing that took me a second to realize is that the charging port and the audio jack are actually located on the bottom of the speaker, which kind of threw me off because if you want to use them, you're pretty much forced to stand the speaker up, which is fine. The speaker can be used horizontally as well as vertically. I just think it's interesting for the ports to be located on the bottom opposed to the back of the speaker. Now, if you want to keep the speaker horizontal, you can still use the ports. It's not the end of the world. The speaker is just going to have a slight forward lean, which I found doesn't really affect the sound. Now, going back to the controls on the top of the speaker, you might have noticed that there's a button for the bass and the treble. And this is actually what I was referring to in the beginning of the video when I said this speaker does something I wish a lot of other speakers could do. It allows you to adjust the bass and the treble directly from the speaker. And this is something I always give praise to the Marshall Middleton for because it also has dedicated buttons for the bass and the treble. But the We Hear Pro takes things a step further. Rather than up and down style buttons, it actually has a touch capacitive slider. All you gotta do is select either the bass or the treble, and then you use this section over to the right to adjust it up or down. It's responsive, you can go fast, you can go slow, and it picks up your feedback extremely well. And you can also use the slider to adjust your volume. So it's a very intuitive process. Any adjustments you need to make, a few simple swipes and you're good to go. And honestly, it does away with the need for an app because you have control directly from the speaker. And again, this is something I wish a lot more speakers would incorporate. Of all the speakers that I own, this one and the Marshall Middleton are the only speakers that have EQ controls on the speakers themselves. And I'm talking about real EQ controls, not just a dedicated bass boost button. So before we get into some audio samples, let's actually talk specs. So we have Bluetooth 5.3 with support for multi-point. So you can connect two devices at once and there's true wireless multi-pairing for up to 14 speakers. So if you purchase more than one, you can pair them together to increase the sound. There's also a built-in microphone, which a lot of speakers this size tend not to include. As far as internal components, you've got two woofers and two tweeters for a max output of 100 watts. When it comes to battery life, you can get up to 24 hours and the Type-C input doubles as an output, which you can use to charge other devices. As far as charging speeds, with a compatible power delivery adapter, the speaker can get a full charge in under two hours. And then last but not least, you have an IPX6 water resistant rating, which makes it more than safe to use outdoors. Now moving things over to sound, Honestly, I think the speaker sounds great. If the goal is to find a portable speaker that allows you to enjoy your favorite tunes in a quality fashion, this definitely does that. It gives you some nice punchy bass. The treble is also very solid. I think if they had the option to adjust the mid range in addition to the bass and the treble, that would have taken things to another level. But again, as is, I do think the speaker sounds great. So let's actually get into some audio samples. And what I'll do while I'm playing the music is just kind of adjust the bass and the treble to give you guys a feel of what the speaker is capable of. Come a little closer. I wanna dance with you. Everything's moving. 
So when you see me shining now, know it's anything but look I'm looking in the mirror at the only one I f*** with I've been held me down, so when you see me now, I'm up I'm fresh up out that mud, I'm a diamond in the rough So when you see me shining now, know it's anything but look It's anything but look Diamond in the rough, yeah, yeah, we had it tough, yeah Yeah, we had the pressure and the pressure done it off. Oh, I'm not flexing when I'm brushing off the dust, no All this pain and the tears make my shoulders bust In this life, gotta It get out in the summer, yeah Summer, the wind it don't stand no chance. It's hotter in the summer, yeah. Hotter in the summer, the wind it don't stand no chance. Front in your back, be careful who you hug and you dab. Cause he's not ain't your brother like that. Don't really love you like that. So obviously the most direct comp for this speaker is the JBL Extreme. Now keep in mind that the latest extreme, the Extreme 4, comes in at 380 bucks compared to the We Hear Pro, which comes in at 255 bucks. So you can save over a hundred bucks and still get great sound quality, along with that very unique EQ sliding design. So those are my thoughts on the We Hear Pro. Make sure you check out the link down in the description if you're interested. And aside from that, I appreciate you guys as always, and I'll see you in the next one.